Welcome to Chernobylite. This is a survival horror open world game set in the exclusion zone around Chernobyl. It caught my attention for two reasons. One is that it's made by The Farm 51, who made a game that I played a while ago called Get Even. At first, I wasn't super feeling Get Even, but by the end of it, I was actually incredibly impressed with it. And I ended up really liking it. It really, it really surprised me. The other reason is that, well, it's set in the exclusion zone around Chernobyl. As a fan of the Stalker series, I'm an absolute sucker for anything that even kind of vaguely resembles Stalker. And I mean, this is a open world survival horror game set around Chernobyl. It's story based, single player. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's another Stalker, but it certainly has a lot of similarities. About the term Chernobylite, that's not a name that they just made up for the game. That was an actual term used by survivors of the Chernobyl disaster. Uh, there's a book called Voices from Chernobyl, The Oral History of a Nuclear Disaster by Svetlana Alexievich, and it's comprised mainly of interviews with people that are actual survivors of the Chernobyl disaster, and there's numerous mentions to Chernobylite. Uh, one such mention during an interview with somebody is, the world has been split in two. There's us, the Chernobylites, and then there's you, the others. Have you noticed? No one here points out that they're Russian or Belarusian or Ukrainian. We all call ourselves Chernobylites. We're from Chernobyl. I am a Chernobylite. As if this is a separate people, a new nation. This game is still in early access, and I don't normally play games in early access, especially if they're story-focused. I like to wait until they're 100% complete and well-polished and everything, and then just go in and have the one full, perfect experience. Because I usually just play games once. But in my excitement, I requested a press copy of it without looking too deeply into it, so I didn't realize that it's an early access. And according to the preliminary early access roadmap that they've released, they don't plan on it being finished until at the earliest winter of 2020 so about a at least about a year from the time of recording i feel like it would be kind of rude if i had requested a press copy which is basically the same as saying hey i want to make a video about this and then i don't use it for over a year feels kind of rude so i am going to make a video about it and this is how it's going to work if this is titled something like first impressions of chernobylite then it's just simply one episode, one video, and that's all it's going to be until the game is completely finished and out of early access. And if it says episode one, then that implies that there's going to be more episodes, and maybe I'm so super into being in, in the zone again after not playing Stalker for so long that I just decided to play everything that's available and then just wait until it's finished after I've played as far as I can right now. Anyway, let's go. Until death do 
most part. Hey stalkers, after our first trip to Chernobyl, bleh, bleh, bleh. Hey stalkers, after our first trip to Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, for a few years we've been dreaming about taking you on a virtual tour there with us. Since the beginning of development, we always wanted to deliver a part of the experience to players as soon as possible, gather the feedback, and let us finalize this project together. Thanks to our amazing Kickstarter 14, year 14, 2014 backers, it was already done in a smaller scale. Now it's time to go even bigger. Before our work is finished, we already want to let you explore a big part of the zone with this early access version of Chernobylite, and to tell us how you feel about it. We know that this tour may be a bit rough on the edges, considering that our game is still not finally designed and polished. That's why we encourage you to report us any opinions, bugs, and issues that may help us to finalize a project with the expected quality. Yeah, uh, here's probably worth mentioning that um, Farm 51 seems to use a lot of 3D scanning technology. I think it's called like photogrammetry or something like that. Basically where you scan actual things in the real world to turn it into not only models but also textures at the same time the result is stuff that looks extremely photorealistic because it's pretty much as close to photorealistic as you can get And they went to the actual exclusion zone and scanned a bunch of stuff, so I'm expecting this to look very, very good, and I can't wait. Какой план, Игорь? Пробраться на атомную станцию. Найти пункт управления номер 5. Взломать систему по запять, чтобы поднять стену. Вынуть эту высотатаду и собрать что-то будет. На 10 часов. Вертолет. Не высовывайте. I don't want to interrupt them, but I don't want to interrupt them, but I can pause and still see the background. So I want to point this out. This huge construction here. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, it has an official name and I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure that what that is, is a giant containment thing, <laughs> a giant containment shell that was put around where the uh, accident actually happened around the actual reactors themselves. I believe that's what it is. And if you noticed when we went back in time for a second, seeing the explosion, this thing wasn't there because it wasn't part of the original design. It was put in after to lower the radiation that was escaping from the area. Хорошо, хорошо. Я же не солдат. Well, 
Whoop. <laughs> I can punch. Don't punch my teammates. I was trying to turn on a flashlight or something. F doesn't do it, L doesn't do it. So I'm not sure. Oh. My first thought was, oh, is this an anomaly detector? Uh, no, I think this is a radiation detector. I think. Uh, anyway, that says nothing to do with what we're doing. Be polite, yell at him. Wait, how do I... Oh. Up or down. Be polite or yell at him. Yell at him. Anton, I don't like this approach to the work. Don't worry me. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Why are you so serious? We're a fucking Chernobyl. Why wouldn't I be serious? Separated. Great. This place is under extremely high security. Objectives are marked on your compass. Use it to navigate through the environment. Objective is over there. Only one marked, of course. But nonetheless, I want to look at everything. Beautiful. Everything's beautiful. I love rusty old parts. I probably have absorbed a considerable amount of radiation. I think metal things absorb more radiation. Or something. I don't know. I think there's a bunch of... I think I see a bunch of people over there. Around a fire. Oop. <laughs> Don't do that. Do I have, like, binoculars? Um, I saw in the controls... Shortcuts? Oh, flashlight is V. Was there binoculars? No. But V. There we go. Unfortunately, I should not be using that right now. Flammable. Huh. God, this game is really good looking. Oh, I think there's an invisible wall here or something. I think they started to swap me. I'm gonna go in behind them, assuming that they don't turn right around, but rather go in a circle or something. Oh shit, this is a dead end. Maybe I can go under? Yes. There's a soldier there at the gate. Oh wait, wait is that them? Oh that's them waiting for me. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Так это здесь. Да, да, да. Спускаемся оттуда прямиком на станцию. Игорь, возьми счетчик Гегера и следи за уровнем радиации. Хорошо? Три, шесть, э, да. Так себе, конечно, но не катастрофа. Мы в безопасности. Больше нигде не безопасно. So this is my inventory. So that's one way to get to it. But I can also just press one, press one, because it's in my quick menu. My inventory seems quite large. And it looks like there's locked slots that I can upgrade. Somehow, at some point. Хорошо, я иду первым. Антон, прикрой меня. Так точно, сэр. Оливер, сэр. Whoa. What the hell is that? I can do like pulse scans? Oh, whoa. I can do pulse scans on certain things that I'm trying to find. Depending on what I select and then it highlights them. Uh, how do I switch what I have selected though? Anyway, I've highlighted a bunch of some things. What is this? That I have selected? <laughs> the box of something. <laughs> Oh shit, did my- oh, my light just ran out. Does it recharge on its own? Where's it like, the power? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh, hold on a second. I'm gonna do that thing in horror movies where they go off on their own and die. high radiation here. Electronic parts. I believe there is crafting. I just love how detailed every little thing is. Just pipes and signs and everything. Did the subtitles just like completely disappear? I mean, it's still set to, to English. You can independently set the voices and the subtitles. I don't know why they disappeared. Оливер, дай я это сделаю. Ладно, дело твое. Я тебя прикрою. Слезы под дождем. Mainly unaware enemy for stealth takedown. Okay.
Gain 15 experience. Oh, there's an experience system. Oh, look at how detailed this doohickey is. I love doohickeys. Oh, this is the control room. Alright, well, if they're not going to have subtitles for some weird reason, I guess I'll try it in English. Also, some of the menus stuck in French because I tried changing it to French and then back to English. Uh, yeah, anyway. Hey, Okay, maybe the English will take effect at some point. Выломать терминал и проверить, работает ли кнопка АЗ-5. I love how all this stuff looks. It's so incredibly detailed. Oh. Are they waiting for me to press that? Игорь, не надо. Что? Почему, Татьяна? Что-то не так. Ты с кем разговариваешь? What? Are you expecting me to do something? My view is locked to like this. I can't move outside of this weird, slow, swimmy view. Uh... Wait a minute, I can't even open the menu. Okay. <laughs> between in between the subtitles not working and English not kicking in and half the menu being stuck in French and the fact that I can't move my view or enter the menu, I think I should restart the game. Okay, let's try this again in English. We'll see how the English voice acting is. Are you sure it's not gonna explode? Not really. I'm a soldier. Not one of those damn white coats. Still five bars. That's good, right? And no leak. Let's report to the Sarge that the area is secure. Not yet. The orders were clear. Not until it reaches three bars. Look for a leak. Reactor control room. Oh, oh, been a while. The last time I was here, Reactor 4 melted down and... Oh. Psst, no nuclear annihilation this time, okay? All right, Igor. What's the plan? The plan is to hack the terminal and check if the AZ-5 button is operational. What? Why? Tatiana! Something wrong? Who are you talking to? Hmm. Should I tell them that I'm hearing Tatiana? They probably not. They probably worry about me. I'm gonna do it. Oh, the voices. Don't you hear them? Dead voices. Gone for so long. They're speaking to me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You are right. I can't. Oh, Christ, I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> Suit yourself. Okay, Anton, let's go. Let's go to the reactor room. Memento discovered power plant plans. Ooh. 
Whoa. Holy shit. What is this? Are these all the reactor control rods? I believe so. Nar soldier. Chernobylite. So it's a material. Transcendental bijection of the space-time continuum, an asymptotic projection of the Kalabi Yau manifold manifesting itself in anti D sitter space. In short, a hawking bridge. Uh, what? The machine bends time and space. It requires enormous amount of energy, and Chernobylite is an unlimited source. You sound like a supervillain from a bad movie. This technology, it will let me find her. Who? My fiance. She disappeared in Chernobyl 30 years ago. Your fiance disappeared here. It's messed up. But we have no time for this shit. Oh god. Twenty-five experience gain the Chernobyl light. <laughs> Sorry, that's just weird tonally to see that. Okay, a lot of things just happen there. Um, Chernobyl light is apparently a special sort of substance created at Chernobyl, like a new substance. Obviously, for it to be named after the disaster itself. Also, we just casually loaded a thing of Chernobyl light into some space-time continuum gun thing, and then just casually used it while chatting about trying to find our long-lost fiancé. And then we're pursued by the Black Stalker. Seems to be trying to kill us all. A lot happened there. Yeah, wow. Totally, that whole scene was very weird. Oh, shit. Olivier! Olivier, goddammit, where are you? Also, I don't really like the English voice acting. It's... I don't know, it's not terrible, but I think I prefer it to be Russian. I'm going to try turning it back to Russian, and we'll see if subtitles continue to exist. Alright, subtitles, please don't fail me. Good. Good. Мне было там так одиноко. Эти долгие-долгие часы и дни разлуки. Так далеко от тебя. Сейчас... Oh. I uh, didn't think that would skip the dialogue, sorry. This place is very cool looking. So, if I'm reading this right, I think we're... We're traversing the, the Hawking Bridges or something? Like, I think we're basically walking through space-time, coming out who knows where. Ch 
Черт побери, Игорь. Я думал, этот ублюдок схватил тебя. Он Антона убил, слышишь? Боже мой. Мне так жаль, Оливер. Антон. Антон был хорошим парнем и хорошим бойцом. Он погиб ужасной смертью. Ну, что это, черт возьми, было? Кто этот ублюдок? Я, я не знаю, но он умеет телепортироваться. Должно быть, это ну, трансцендент биокционная проекция пространственного временного континуума. Вот дерьмо, только не начинай опять. Нет, никакой научной лабуды. Прекрати, а то у меня голова взорвется. Где мой черт подари? Внутри. Внутри чего? Ничего. Дело не где или когда мы внутри точки сингулярности. Везде и нигде одновременно. Ага, конечно. Бред собачий. Нам надо убираться отсюда. Уверен, тот парень идет последний. А у меня ни малейшего желания еще раз с ним встретиться. Так что, куда нам? Где выход? А, да, ты прав. Конечно, чудеса могут и подождать. Смотри, вон там. Вон выход, видишь? Вижу. Тогда давай встретимся у Михаила. Ай, черт. Моя рука так болит. Сломана. Я убью тебя, ты. Ублюдок в черной маске. Сантуна. I like that the other person is like, stop it with the techno babble. <laughs> stop talking all that bullshit. Just what do we do? I like that the game's self-aware enough to know that all the stuff that... What's our name? Igor is saying is just a lot of... Nonsense? Or at least to a layman is complete nonsense. Day one, Chernobyl morning. Oh, that is so cool. Aurora Borealis? Or some other similar looking phenomenon? Because of where we are. Who knows if it's just making the sky look weird because the exclusion zone's a weird place. Something about this scene is just so cool to me. That music and the violent wind and the sky. I really like this. Свет, это все моя ошибка. Основа нашего мира. Такая тонкая. И ее так легко сломать. Неужели это я сделал все это? Глаза в твоей голове. Забытые воспоминания. Потерянные мгновения. Времена смешиваются. Hello? <laughs> I don't think I should get closer to that. I don't think I can- Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, fuck it, I'm in it now. Oh, you're not even there. 
Yeah, we've just really fucked with space-time now. was that? As cheesy as it is, I did actually not expect it. Also, they just walked from here to that way, but you can't go that way. <laughs> it's just a railing. It's like we're seeing, I think we're seeing echoes from other realities or other times or something like that. Everything's mixing together. Black Stalker. Wait, what did that say? It just popped up with, uh... Oh. T to cycle right, I... Uh, R to cycle left. Ah! Other mushrooms. <laughs> we can try to scan for mushrooms. <laughs> as if we need things to get any trippier. Chemicals, electronic parts, flammables, herbs. I feel like mushrooms would go under the category of herbs. I wonder what the uses of mushrooms are if they're not like for crafting poultices or whatever. Are there any mushrooms nearby? Uh. Anti radiation medicine is a. That's a mushroom? Maybe that's like a craft uh, something you craft with mushrooms I don't know you have spent too much time in contaminated areas wait is this not going to let me out is that the problem this is a scanner radiation medicine. A potassium solution that, if ingested, aids the body in the expulsion of radioactive particles. Okay, we good now? finally look pretty normal. Where am I? Here's the map. I've never looked at it before. This is the space we have available to us right now. Investigation board? Find Olivier. Right, we're supposed to meet. I hope they made it. I'd be surprised if they're in the same space time as me, though. Anything in the Anything in the journal? Available missions. Rest in base. Memento from the past. Wait. Available missions over here, but I can't do anything. I can't touch them. And then available missions over here. Nothing. I don't... What? I don't understand. I can't click any of these things either. Oh. Oh, you can't click them? You have to use WASD to move? Oh, I see. That's weird. Skills. 
or former engineer, ex-engineer, you can build almost anything, hack most of the electronic devices, and open all kinds of locks. We are a Siberian XCON. <laughs> you know a lot about small arms, especially the pistols and six shooters. You can also take down a single opponent in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hmm. This makes me wonder if... I mean, this could be here just to tell you more about your character, but I also wonder if this indicates that there might be multiple playable characters in the future. That might have been on the roadmap, I'm not sure. Companions, Olivier. Question mark, question mark. Canadian ex-military, a sniper who specialized, specializes in black ops. A veteran from Iraq and Afghanistan, dishonorably discharged, who decided to work as a mercenary for the Black Ma Mountain. It's supposed to be mountains. His mount mountain. Uh, deep in his heart, he feels he was treated unfairly. It makes him dreary. <laughs> expert survival instinct. Expert small arms. The shadow and shadow expert. Whole bunch of stuff we can craft. Oh, this thing on the scanner, this little box, is for ammunition. Alright, well, that's enough of that for now. Is all of you actually here? You're wounded. Use a fireplace to craft some medicaments. Is this where all of you are supposed to be? All right, how do we craft? Um, what are my, like, what are my stats looking like? I guess it's the stuff down here. Well, this is my health. I seem to be missing three blocks. This, I don't know what this is, but it's full, whatever it is. Maybe that's stomach? Food? Q and E to select. It's very weird how there's different controls used to select stuff in different menus. Like, in the journal, I have to press... Like, uh, use the WASD keys to move up and down and left and right. But for here, to switch between these, I can't use my mouse. My mouse doesn't, like, my cursor doesn't even exist here. I have to use Q and E, the uh, controls that normally allow you to lean. And then when I'm using my scanner and switching between the things I want to scan, I have to use R and T. That's very weird. I feel like that should all be pretty unified. Calming salts, sanitizing rinse. Looks like looks like tomato soup with some basil in it. <laughs> it looks nice. And healing salve will increase my health by the exact amount that I'm missing. Nice. Hmm. One of the uh Effects of this is Psyche. Maybe that's the one that I had full in. Maybe that's Psyche. A basic mixture of slow-cooked herbs restores a small amount of health. <laughs> that was cute the way it just appeared. I wish there was a little song like in Breath of the Wild. I should probably actually use it. I know I'm supposed to be finding my fiance or finding Olivier or trying to survive, but I just want to stare at like rusty old trucks and stuff. Look at all this, all these crumbled buildings and things. 
I don't know. I've just always been in, into uh, looking at rusted and broken old things, places that were formerly inhabited but haven't been for a long time. Don't know why, but it's interesting. All right, I should probably continue up the road. Yes. I can... I think it requires... Whoa, that was weird. Uh, yeah, it requires resources to actually make a fire. Of course it would. Bases, statistics, comfort of life in the base, power excess. Okay, there's a whole base building thing. This game has a lot to it. everything is. Whoa. Say the password. I don't remember it. Oh, I don't? Shit. Now we're getting subtitles for something that Tatiana didn't even say. Weird. Yeah, just look at how detailed everything is. Like, if we get really, really, really close. Look at how incredibly detailed everything they're wearing is. Start rebuilding your base in places where you can build. If you don't have the resources, you can scrap items you don't need. Oh my god. Wow. It really is like full base building. So we can just scrap junk and get like mechanical parts from it. But the problem is I love the junk. I want the junk to stay. What's it gonna... This place is gonna be so empty without junk. Music's very nice. Very peaceful. They're lovers. They're gay. I support them. Well, you really want me to build, huh? 
What, are you holding me hostage until I build? Alright. I'll scrap some stuff. So empty. Oh, they're not holding us hostage at all. There's an entire place up here that I didn't see for some reason. Was it behind the stuff I had to salvage, or did I just completely miss it? I don't know. I'm too busy looking at how pretty everything is. Oh, there's a radio. I hope we can sit down and listen to it and hear broadcasts. Looks like this isn't the buildable part of the base. Like if I press B here, nothing happens. I think it's just over there where we can, where we can build. I think this is where we sleep. What is that thing? Look at how worn in this table looks. Looks so cool. Let's build some stuff. So right now, only thing I can build is... What's the name of this thing? Tools? Yeah, I think it's just called tools, but it's like a workbench, I think. so it doesn't like snap into places kind of like free place it I like that effect on it that kind of staticky effect as if this is a projection or something makes it feel a little bit more in universe and not just some weird interface unlocked a new tier of objects to build and gain access to multiple categories of items and furniture Oh, that's the radio. Can I sit down now? No, but I can listen to it. Oh, 
Расскажи мне все. Кто ты? Что тебе известно? Где она? Расскажи мне. Черт. New mission. Meet with the mysterious informator. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. That's right, I said episode. Which I guess isn't a spoiler to you, because you will already see that this is titled Episode 1. But to me, I've just come to the conclusion that I want to keep playing this. Obviously, it's pretty messy. It's had a lot of weird issues, especially technical issues so far. It's an early access, I expect that. But aside from that, I'm, I'm really, really intrigued. And it's freaking beautiful, and I like just staring at stuff it's just really pretty I'm, I'm really enjoying my time with it and i want to keep playing to see everything that it has to offer right now 